how would you solve a problem like this? So we have got over 100 PDF files contained within this folder. Each of these PDF files contains sales data that we want to extract to Excel. We hope to get a final output that looks something like this. So we get insights into the sales information. The solution to all of this is a lot easier than you might think. And if you wanna follow along, I've included the sample files in the description. So let's get started. Before trying to bulk import multiple PDFs into Excel, let's take a look at how we can do this for a single PDF. Within our folder, we have approximately 100 PDFs. If I open one of these PDFs, we can see that it's a basic order confirmation. It's got the name of the company, a nice photo of a cupcake, the order information, and a small thank you note. The information that I'm interested in importing to Excel is this table, which contains the order details. We've got the customer name, the item that the customer has ordered, along with the quantity. We also have some other details like, is this customer order for pickup or delivery and the due date of the order? If we can get this information into Excel for all 100 PDFs, then we're going to be able to perform some analytics on the data. To get data from a PDF into Excel, we're going to be using what's known as Power Query. We can access the Power Query functionality within Excel by navigating to the Data tab and then focusing on the Get and Transform Data group. You will notice here on the left-hand side that there's a drop-down called Get Data. When we expand this drop-down, we see there are various options available to us or sources where Power Query allows us to import data. We can get data from sources like files, databases, or other places like the web. We want to extract data from a PDF today. We can go ahead and select from PDF. This will launch a file explorer window. So let's choose any one of these PDFs and then we can go ahead and click import. The navigator panel now asks us what portion of our PDF would we like to import to Excel? We see it recognizes the table within our PDF, which contains all of the order details. We could also import the entire context of the document. However, we're not really interested in any of the additional information. So to get this into Excel, let's go ahead and just click on the load button. So great, Power Query has extracted the information we needed from the PDF and placed it in Excel in the form of an Excel table. The format of the data that we have in Excel is exactly the same as how the PDF displays the information. A little later, we're going to be importing approximately 100 files and the target format that we hope to achieve would display our headers in the top row with all of the order data beneath. So can we change our query around a little bit here? You will notice on the right, there is a navigation panel called Queries and Connections, which contains a list of all the power queries in this Excel workbook. If you right click on this query, you have the option to edit. This will launch the Power Query Editor, which currently shows us the output of the query, which is imported into Excel. At the top of the Power Query Editor, we have a tab called Transform. And in the Table group, we have the option to transpose this data. Now, this is starting to look a little bit better. Currently, the column headers of this query are columns 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. But we have the option to make our first row the header. You can see in the right hand side, there's a navigation panel called Query Settings, which shows us all of the steps that are applied in our query. If you've made a mistake or need to remove any of the steps in the query, you can simply just go ahead and cancel them from this window. Our query is now in the final format, so we can navigate back to File and then choose Close and Load and the query gets populated correctly into Excel. Okay, so now we know how to import data from a single PDF file into Excel. 
But what about bulk importing all 100 PDFs contained within our folder in one shot? Let's go back to the data tab and extend the get data drop down. Rather than choose PDF, let's choose from a folder. This option allows us to select a folder anywhere on our computer and import the data contained in every single file within that folder, all within one query. My PDFs are located in a file called Invoices, so I'm just going to choose the Invoice folder and then click Open. We get a preview window here, which shows us all of the files Power Query will attempt to import into Excel. If we go ahead and click Load, you will notice that Power Query simply imports the file names along with the details of those files, rather than the data contained within the files themselves. If we go back, you will now notice that we also have some additional options here at the bottom. These additional options will allow us to extract the data from within the file and combine it before finally loading it into Excel. So let's go ahead and click on the Transform Data option. All of the file records are now displayed within this familiar Power Query editor. You will notice that we have the option to combine all of the content data. When we choose this option, Power Query then asks us what data within each file would we like to combine. For us, again, this is going to be the table containing the sales information within each PDF. So we can choose the table from the left hand side option and then go ahead and click OK. So we're now starting to make some progress. We've combined all of the data into one single table but it's not really in the desired format. On the left-hand side, we can see where Power Query extracted the data from the sample file. It's at this point in our query where we want our data to be transposed and given the appropriate column headers. On the Transform tab, we can execute the Transpose command and we can also use the first row as headers. If we now go back to our final output step, we can actually see that there is an error. Because we removed the default column names, like column one and column two, the final query cannot find these anymore and throws an error. You will remember on the right-hand side, we have access to all the applied steps in our query. If we go back one step, we can actually see that this would be the final output we need. So we can go ahead and remove the change type step, which is causing an error to the output. We also don't need this column called source name, so we can go ahead and remove this also. So that's it. Now we've combined and transformed our data into the desired output. Let's navigate to file and then choose the close and load to option. Excel now presents us with a number of different ways that we can load this data into Excel. I want to see all of the data, so I'm going to ensure Table is selected and then click OK. So great, the order information from all 100 PDFs is now available in Excel. From here, we could load this data into a pivot table by choosing Summarize with Pivot Table. Let's add quantity and order date to the pivot table so that we get an idea of how many cupcakes this business will need to have ready on each of those dates. We could also add the order item to the pivot table so we know how many chocolate cupcakes and how many red velvet cupcakes needs to be baked. So that's how you can import data from a single and multiple PDF into Excel. Do you have to complete tasks like this frequently? And what are your major pain points? I'd love to hear your thoughts below. And if you've enjoyed the video, please hit the like button and make sure you're subscribed to the channel. And as always, have a wonderful rest of your day and I'll see you next time.